So today is the first video in a series that I am so excited to do because I literally love to travel. I was so scared back when I was in college and started traveling for the first time to film. So I have some clips that I filmed on Snapchat that I'm going to share with you guys. Tons of photos. But today I am sharing with you everything about my trip to Iceland because I went in January of 2020. And since it's kind of creeping up and I feel like it's a really popular destination and so many people want to go, I want to tell you guys how I went, what I thought, and I'm really excited. So I've got all the things here. I have like everything written down that I wanted to make sure I touched on. And then I also have pulled up my 2020 COVID project. I actually started a blog. I didn't publish it though because I was like so scared, but I spent so long working on it and I have like all of these different um things online that I'm going to be referencing and yeah I hope you guys are excited for this new series because I am super pumped up and I have a lot of trips coming up and I'm really excited to be able to travel again now that I am not like completely occupied all of the time that's one thing i really disliked about my job that i had at the studio is i had no time to do anything unless it fell like on a break and the studio breaks and my school breaks were never the same so it was super super rare that i got to take a trip the last trip i went on was to france and it was a really great trip and i'm excited to share with you guys everything about that trip too i actually think i have some vlogs up from that trip because i did have the channel at that point in time just waiting on this to load put in the finishing touches so i was just waiting on this to load this is the picture i teased i'm really excited so this was um from one of the infamous plane crashes. I feel like it is like super Instagrammable. Everybody always wants to go to the plane and I feel like I got some pretty dope pictures on the plane. And then you just scroll down and I've got all of this fun facts, info, all this good stuff. So we are going to just jump right in. There are two really big ways that you can enjoy Iceland and I feel like you have to decide what you wanna do. Um, before you start planning your trip because if you go in the winter versus going in the summer you're going to experience a completely different trip so let's kind of touch on that a little bit we went in the winter we went in January and tickets were about $600 round trip for us to go to Iceland it's off season so if you go in the winter you are going to have way less crowds it's going to be way more affordable in terms of getting and staying there because it is their off season the con to going in the winter is that the sun sets earlier so you get like six solid hours of daylight and then it gets really dark so it does kind of minimize the amount of time that you're able to do things in Iceland you kind of have to be up and moving and driving um, and also the weather is a little bit more unpredictable if you go in the winter so for instance when we landed in Iceland we were going to rent a car and like immediately start driving along Ring Road and we opted not to do that because when we landed there was actually hurricane three like category three hurricane winds so we were like let's just settle down and hang out in Reykjavik which is the capital of Iceland for a little bit and that ended up being super fun and that's what I would recommend doing anyway so most people when they go to Iceland they will rent a car and they'll travel like all around the country and that's kind of how you can see all the different hot springs and waterfalls it's a big country but you could go around like all of ring road in seven days so it's not like super massive i think our longest drive on the stretch was about eight hours what's up you guys welcome back to the vlog we here we just arrived in northern iceland it's been a eight hour drive um, and we're still not at the hotel yet. So we almost got turned around. A lot of roads are closed for the winter, but we out here thriving and Gabby's even driving in the snow. Her first time driving in the snow. And that was to Northern Iceland. It is so easy to drive in Iceland if you are from the US. So I wouldn't worry about that. Um, if you go in the winter, obviously you will be driving on very icy roads, so just something to consider. There were a couple of very scary incidences where we were driving and it was like hailing and you couldn't even see. There were times where we almost like hydroplaned off the sides of cliffs. 
um, because of like the icy roads. And Iceland has this weird thing where they'll have bridges that merge on the road and like cars go from both sections, but it's a one way bridge. So those were really freaky. Um, so I'm happy we definitely went during off season because there was so much less traffic on the roads and like no crowds at any of the stops. So if you're not super into like, if you're looking for something that's maybe a little bit more relaxing um, and you kind of just want to go, I feel like you could spend all of your time in Reykjavik, maybe just like for a shorter trip. Um, the Blue Lagoon is like 45 minutes to an hour. That's another really popular tourist destination. We went to the Blue Lagoon the first day we were in Iceland. It definitely was not my favorite hot spring that we went to, but it is still a really, really good one. So I think everyone has to do it just once in their life. The way I kind of describe how it was is like you're driving along the coast, like the Ring Road, which is the name of the route all around. And like, you'll be driving and it's just kind of like highway. And then you'll like turn right, go down this road. And then before you know it, it'll be like a bunch of houses or like a random waterfall. Like you can see every single thing from the road. I feel like with the exception of um, the plane wreck. Reykjavik is a super walkable town. So I don't think you need a rental car if you're going to just be staying in Reykjavik. Like we could walk from our hotel pretty much everywhere. Like you could walk to see the Rainbow Road, you could walk and see the church and all the cute little shops. The shopping in Reykjavik is like a must do. I got the cutest stuff from the stores. I like, I'm getting emotional thinking about it. And the church is definitely super popular. So day one in Iceland, we checked into our hotel. We stayed at the Canopy, which was gorgeous. Definitely a little bit expensive, but we just waited to book it till the last minute, like literally, cause we were not planning on staying. Um, the church, which is gorgeous. You guys, you're gonna get up to the church and like see the town and then like you're gonna see these just beautiful like mountains in the background it is like insane again when we went it was kind of later in the day so you're gonna get that darkness it's not gonna be super super bright um if you go in the winter because you just have so much less time to experience the daylight um but it was really 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 good for renting a car, I highly recommend booking through Blue Car. I'm gonna go ahead and split the screen here so you guys can see. They have all different types of cars. It was super easy after you get off at the airport. We flew into the airport that starts with a K. Um, you just hop on the little shuttle. It takes you right to the rental car place. Be mindful about when they open. I think we had to wait for them to open like our flight landed earlier. Um, but I do highly recommend if you want to do more of like an adventurous style, paying attention to the type of drive that you are getting on your car, because in the winter, you're definitely going to want something that has like, you know, good grip on the road. And then in addition to that, something that has Wi-Fi, because we used our Wi-Fi the entire time we got to play Spotify, we got to, um, use iMaps, like the navigation, everything was in English. It was super easy. If we wanted to Google something, we could, especially on like an eight hour drive, we watched, um, well, rather we listened to like four Netflix comedy documentaries. So we were just laughing the whole way. So I highly, highly, highly recommend getting a car with Wi-Fi. That to me would be like the most important thing, but I had a great experience renting through a blue car. And that is not me saying that as someone who is like sponsored. Blue car does not even know I exist but I know blue car does. So 10 out of 10. Another thing I recommend doing if you are renting a car is bring snacks or bring a budget to go to the grocery store and buy food that you can eat and snack on. Iceland popcorn slaps, um, but it is so expensive to eat. So we would buy like cereal and granola bars. We brought stuff too, like munchies for the road. So we weren't eating out constantly in Iceland because it does add up. Like you'll be paying 20 bucks for a soup. So dropping like 20 to $30 just on food, like three times a day definitely adds up. So if you're looking to save money, that is something that I definitely, definitely recommend doing. Um, I just think in the long run, it will be better for you. This video is so all over the place because like I said, I went in 2020 and that was a long time ago. <laughs> so there are some things that I just like don't perfectly remember about the trip, but I wanna share with you guys. 
So one of my favorite um, hot spring that we did, I cannot pronounce it, so I'm gonna just put the name on the screen and a picture. This was phenomenal. This hot spring is amazing. It is so hard to find. I have a video of me looking for it. Good morning from Iceland. It's hailing and we don't know where we are. But update, we're right back where we started. This time we think we know where we're going. We're just following the footsteps that other this is literally unfreaking real. Literally unreal. We did find it. Thank God somebody was there before us. When I tell you we were the only ones. And then to get this epic shot of a photo, my sister literally like climbed the side of the mountain. <laughs> and like there's a place that you would like use the restroom or change like a bathhouse, I guess you would call it. Um, climbed like up on the roof there to climb up more rocks to like get the shot. But when I tell you like the water was cold here in the winter, it was probably around 70 degrees, but it was just breathtaking. Like you just have to go in. Like it doesn't even matter that you're like super, super cold. It's just like, you gotta do it. It's so, so nice. My favorite hot spring that we went to is actually the Myvatan, which I'm probably saying that wrong, hot spring. This was all the way up in Northern I Iceland. Um, it was like a Blue Lagoon dupe and I liked it better. It was a lot steamier. The water was super, super warm. It was very luxurious feeling. Again, there was maybe two other people there when we went and like to be in Northern Iceland in the peak of winter and like the sun is setting, it was just so like mystical and magical. And I have so many photos from Iceland up on my Instagram. I feel like this is the time to plug that. And also I always, my favorite thing is doing my Instagram highlights and putting like all of my photos from my trips there. So I highly recommend checking that out if you guys are not already following me on Instagram so that you can keep up with all my trips, especially the ones that are coming up. And yes, so I, I just phenomenal experience there. Another super popular tourist destination is the Black Sand Beach in Vic, and I highly, highly recommend going. So we were going to stay at the Barn Hostel, but they actually own the Black Sand Beach Resort or Hotel. Um, the hostel is super cute, so chic. Like I would have been totally fine staying there, but the price difference was maybe $10 and we got an entire room. I'm gonna insert a video on one side of me and it has like a little preview of what our rooms look like. I feel like if you went during like the time where you could see the Northern Lights to look outside of your window over the beach and see them would just be so magical. So I, f I really, really recommend staying here. It was so great. And you could totally spend like an extra night here if you wanted to like even get something where you could cook because it had a little kitchen in it. And again, the barn has like a little bar too in the hostel and they're within walking distance from each other. But it was so cute. Like I would go back to Iceland just to stay there because it was so romantic. I was with my sister, but <laughs> it definitely is like a super romantic spot. So um, if you're going with like a partner, I like you will blow them away if you guys stay at this hotel. Like it was so nice. And another thing that we did was glacier hiking. I don't have too many photos and videos from this, but it was so fun. We had a great tour guide who actually told us about a sushi place in Iceland that was like, it was like sushi rocks or something. It was so good. I'm gonna find the name of it for you guys because the sushi was banging. Like it was so good and it was such a fun hip spot. So definitely talk to people. Like we were telling, he was going to Miami and I'm from Florida. So we were like, oh my God, you have to do this, this, and this. And he was like, oh my God, well, you have to do this, this, and this. So it was super fun. We did book the tour for the glacier hiking on Expedia. Another thing we did is the plane crash. And you guys, it was literally hailing. Nobody told me, nobody told me. So I'm mad. If I knew you and you, you went to Iceland and you didn't tell me, it's a four mile walk to the plane. And it's not just like your run of the mill walk. Like there are, you are on a hill. And it's so tragic because you're like, we're getting hailed on, we're walking to the plane and like, 
these buses, these tour buses of people are just like passing us, watching us walk. I did not want to pay for a tour bus. I'm very much like a, I'll just walk. It was a bit rough. I think you can book a tour where you go like on a four, like four wheelers to the, blah, 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 blah. I think you can book an excursion where you go on like four wheelers down to the plane. And I feel like something like that would be super fun where you're not walking the whole time, especially in the winter, because like I said, it was hailing, hailing on us. And in Northern Iceland, there is a major waterfall that is also, I feel like this is crooked. There is a major waterfall. It's freaking massive. And there is the cutest little coffee shop. Like I said, I know that this is like so all over the place, you guys. And I apologize for that. My memory is just like, it is very spastic. But if anything, this is really just like all of the things that you should note. Little like travel hacks, little must do, must see videos. I promise that now that I am like vlogging a little bit more, these videos, they will evolve and they will evolve to make sense. My camera keeps dying, so I'm going to wrap this up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was all over the place, I apologize. And I hope you guys are just as excited as I am about this new addition here on the channel. All things destination, all things traveling. I really want to make sure that when it comes to my channel, I'm showing all of the different things that I love and I'm passionate about. Nursing school is just a small part of my life and my journey and what is important to me. So I really like sharing all the things that I love to do and that mean a lot to me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.